In this Sailing Doodles, we attempt to get some beach time, but we're interrupted by an emergency vet visit from Maverick. Happily, we welcome Tara back to the crew, but it's cut short as we have to evacuate Maverick back to the States for treatment. This season of Sailing Doodles features Taylor and Bobby as we set sail for the Caribbean with our two Labradoodles, Maverick and Goose. In the previous video, we welcomed our newest crew member, Josephine, as we were stuck in the marina due to large waves. Maverick was looking healthy and happy that morning as we were headed to the beach. Well, the boys are, the boys are excited because we're taking them to the beach. They are ready for some beach time. The wind is, I mean, by standards of late, it's pretty calm. It's down to about 20 knots of wind, so gonna go to the beach. Because of how happy he looked on the beach, it was hard to believe that Maverick was getting sick. also be that way. Oh. Well, he seems like he's doing well, but he got us a little scared at the uh, beach there. He's Maverick's had a cough for about four days. Uh, and, you know, there's no, don't see any mucus or anything like that. And then today at the beach, he coughed up a little blood. So, uh, there's not really a vet here. Um, luckily, the people on this other boat over here are with the Humane Society. They came down to do some volunteer work. Uh, so they're at the, what passes for a vet clinic here in the Exumas. So we're going there. They don't have an x-ray machine. There's not even, there's one x-ray machine on the, on, the, on, the, on the island and then nobody knows how to use it and that's for humans. So uh, he seems like he's doing okay, but I mean, it's still a little scary. So we're gonna take him to the clinic see what they say and if uh, if they don't like what they see then we're gonna try to get them back to the States tomorrow I have a few friends have little airplanes I've already reached out to hopefully we can get one of them to come pick us up the doctor who's in Nassau and kind of explained the symptoms and everything. He's concerned it could be heartworms. Uh, I mean, they're on the meds, but maybe there was a, la a lapse in there or so at some, at some point. Anyway, so they're giving him some meds, um, some anti-cough stuff and some vitamin K and, if you, and some uh, antibi antibi I'm not sure what else, but anyway, we'll get him in a minute. Anti-worm. Anti yeah. So hopefully he'll get better over the next few days. If he gets worse, then I definitely have a good friend and patron, uh, Kurt, who has offered to come pick us up and take us back to the States. If he gets better or stays the same and it's not too bad, then the Nassau doctor will be here in about um, two weeks or less. And uh, then he'll take some blood and test for heartworms and stuff like that. If it is heartworms, it's not the end of the world. It's just a pain in the butt. And it, he's not at risk of being too sick from that right away. So 
I want to thank the uh, Exuma Humane Society. They're actually an all-volunteer group. There is no vet on the island, and then the vet that actually comes actually volunteers this time. He comes in once a month to help them out. So uh, really, if you guys want to help out the Humane Society down here, they could really use it. There's a link popping up for their PayPal, and their, uh, they have a GoFundMe and their Facebook and all that. It's down the link in the show notes. So I want to thank them so much. We'll definitely be uh, making our own donation to the uh, Exuma Humane Society. So thank you guys. Please help them out. about him. He was okay this morning, but he's pretty low energy right now. We just went for a walk and he just kind of barely moped around. And he's usually the energetic one. Hey Maverick. I'm gonna go be okay. He wasn't eating, so he chopped him up some leftover steak. Well, I'm trying to act happy because we're going to pick up Tara. Yeah, but I'm still really concerned about Maverick, so. But we are going to pick up Tara, so it'll be good to see her again. Yeah. Hopefully that'll cheer Maverick up a little. <laughs> oh my God, it's Josephine. Oh my God. Hi. You look so pretty. I've got, I'm loaded down with, well, I'm not the set, <laughs> Stuff for you. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I'm sorry, I'm like, ah! uh, How are you? Hi! It's so lovely to meet you. Look who it is, boys! Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Do you remember me? Do you remember me? Oh, hey, Goose. Hi, Goose. Tara graciously mu muled us a ice maker because we've been needing one of these. I cannot find them like a countertop ones here, so ice maker. Oh. <laughs> Little mini champagnes for each of us. And Bobby, guess what you get because of what happened to the wine situation? <laughs> so unfortunately, not boxed, but I have a very nice cab. Ah, oh, nice. Thank you so much. So a little treat for us to that's share. That's really nice. Thank you, Tara. Yeah, thank you. There we go. Wonderful. More booze. She knows the way to my heart. <laughs> Still not doing real well, so thankfully I have a good friend and patron, Kurt, who has his own little uh, single engine airplane. He is graciously going to fly here from Florida, pick us up, and take us back to Fort Lauderdale where we have a vet appointment tomorrow. So uh, we'll be leaving at 9 a.m. tomorrow, or maybe 10, back to the United States, two hour flight. So he'll be at a vet, you know, sometime tomorrow afternoon. His tail's wagging, but he's a little lethargic because he's ready to go for a ride. Hi, baby. You're gonna be okay. Yeah. And you, you're okay. Hey, dudes. Yeah. Hey, beauty. Hey, grumpy old goose. Oh, gonna miss you too, buddy. Oh, and Bobby. Mm, Bobby. Missing you. Hopefully we're coming back soon. Kinda I sad. So the Exuma Airport has a very small private air terminal where we were meeting Kurt.
This is Kurt's turbocharged Piper Arrow. Unfortunately, we were having some audio difficulties with this clip, but I really want to thank Kurt for bringing his airplane to rescue us. So we loaded up Maverick in the back seat, and we couldn't leave Goose behind. We definitely need him for moral support, but unfortunately he had to sit in the baggage area. Taylor was pretty sad as she said her goodbyes to Maverick. Kurt's friend Esteban is a pilot who came along for the trip. He was trying to build his flight hours and Kurt was nice enough to let him pilot the airplane. They look as calm as can be. Yeah. No trouble at all. You doing okay? Yeah? Right, it's gonna be noisy in here, sorry. Gotta buy some ear, ear muffs for dogs. <laughs> yeah, right. Exit 1, November 8359, I go. Five, nine, echo, what's your destination? Yes, sir, our destination is uh, Foxtrot X-ray Echo, Fort Lauderdale, 8359 echo. Roger, 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 You're okay, pup? Huh? Yeah, you're okay? Yeah. Yeah. You don't look too nervous at all. You're like, this is just old hat. Yeah, right. They've flown, I mean, I, you know, I flew in my twin Comanche and my, yeah. I had a Bonanza before that they flew in. But oh, they, so. had, they had flown in, in a little airplane like this in, well, four or five years anyway. Yeah. I just haven't looked back, I hadn't looked back yet. <laughs> It's kind of funny seeing the dog between your, <laughs> I know it's your seats back there. Five nine echo pilot discretion on course. Advise ten to the northwest. Ten to northwest. Uh, will advise eighty five nine echo. Can I break here with eighty eight for touchdown? Uh, five minutes. Be careful. Forty three eighty seven. Okay, it's from from here to decal. Uh huh. D e k a l, and then F X C. Okay. All right, you good? Yep. All right, let me line up. Place for race. Lights, camera, action. Green. Yep, set for takeoff. Yep. Here we go. We line up and uh, I'm gonna hold the brakes. This is a long runway, but the winds are coming from the north. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, that's a lot of boost. Yeah, we're bringing it down. Thirty-eight inches or. Yeah. Airspeed yeah, alive. Engine instruments in the green. Ready. Uh, rotate. Hey, rotate. Take us up there. Hold the air for a little bit. Get some more speed. All righty. On your feet for Nacho Flies going now. Gears up. And a feasible chance. Uh, runway gears up. You speed up. Uh, I haven't flown over uh, Exumas in a long time. That sure is pretty it's out there. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Yeah, it is gorgeous. All right, 500 feet. Heads down, looking left on the left. Number traffic, big car, 4387. You want any shots coming out of here, man? Anything you want? Uh, no, it's all right. It's gorgeous, though. All right. I, I'm sure it's getting a good shot. You know, the underwing camera, I'm sure it's getting some cool shots. All right. I may be able to fly over the marina like we did when we left last time. Yeah. You didn't happen to see us, did you? No, I didn't. Maybe we weren't back in time. Yeah. Oh, the dog's still back there. They are right back there. They're awesome. chilling out. Awesome. 
Uh, man, that is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the reefs and stuff out there, man. Yeah. Beautiful. It really is gorgeous. Traffic for care, 4387, five mile final run, we want to. A lot of boats out today because everybody's been hunkered down uh, for like the last eight days. Yeah. Uh, some some of the boats braved it yesterday, but it's still pretty rough out there. Today is a little better. Can you jig to the uh, left a little bit? I can. You want okay. to Let Bobby see the oh, braided yeah, down there, here? Yeah, I can see it now. Hey, you see that airline coming in? To uh, where we just left? Yeah. <laughs> You need me to bank? Oh no, you're good. There's the boat. Man, there's a lot of sailboats out today. Like yeah. Everybody's waiting to get south. Jeez. Oh yeah. All of them going down there. Wonder how many of them were on charter that got stuck. Oh man, that would have been Couldn't worse. make it back. There was a, a big 52 foot lagoon that came in and it was pretty rough out there. And I saw him come in, I was like, whoa. whoa, whoa. It's pretty sketchy looking. It was a beautiful two-hour flight over the Bahamas back to Florida at Fort Lauderdale. Esteban brought us in for a perfect landing. Hello guys, uh, we made it safe and sound to uh, Fort Lauderdale, uh, thanks to our great uh, patron, uh, Kurt. Really appreciate you using your plane to come pick me up, and uh, Esteban, who was flying as well. Thank you guys so much. Um, we took Maverick in to get uh, to the vet. Um, and uh, he has cancer. So, I um, rented a car, and uh, now I'm driving back uh, to Dallas. You know, uh, there's really not much. It's a pretty large tumor in his chest, I think. Uh, we'll get it an ultrasound, uh, hopefully tomorrow or the next day to, to verify it. But he's kind of low energy and he's not really wanting to eat. I stopped in, in the travel center here and, and uh, got some chicken nuggets and he, he ate those, but he won't eat dog food or treats or anything. So we are um, headed back to Dallas. Uh, just gonna drive straight through 18 hours all the way. Um, and uh, the girls are safe on the boat. Uh, I went ahead and got the slip for the month. Um, I don't know how long I'll be here. I mean, it really depends on him. Uh, however long he's comfortable so thank you guys thank you guys